First of Jake, how are you? Good, yeah. Uh, a little bit sore after the crash, obviously, but uh, no, it was, a, it was a big whack that I took. And it was horrendous looking, was that? Yeah, no, it took, it took me a couple of days to even start to walk again. Um, so it really, really took it out of me. And uh, if it wasn't for my girlfriend, obviously looking after me at home, I would have been a little bit stuffed, to be fair. The irony wasn't lost on us. It was your mentor stroke manager, Shaky, that made a small mistake. You ran in the back of him, nothing of a crash, and then you got clobbered. Yeah, to be fair, it, uh, it was a bit of a strange race anyway, because I said to the lads, if I can if I can get inside the top, well, the top 15, I'll be happy. And uh, next thing you know, I'm up behind Shaky, and I thought, right, I've got a real go good run out of the last corner. And uh, I got beside him, and I thought, right, I'll let the brakes off now, and, I, and I'll run my, my, man my manager wide. And I'm thinking, this ain't right, that. <laughs> Four times pretty super bike champion, I've just run him wide. But no, he soon came back by me and then obviously made that mistake where he, where he crashed and it's not like him to make that mistake. But uh, it's a racing incident, it can happen and uh, they're the risks we take. But apart from that, your transition into Superbike's been pretty much all good. Your test here was brilliant, a lot of people talked about that and then knock Hill before the accident was, was brilliant. It's a massive jump. It's only because I've got such a great team around me that, uh, that it's made it look so not so big, but I struggled a little bit with bike setup and how the bike felt. But uh, I know the boys, are, they'll come back and they'll, they'll come back with a different plan and we'll go from there. Because I know at the end of the day, this is the first time that the bike hasn't, hasn't felt to how I want it. But uh, every change they usually make is the right change. But obviously, coming from Knock Hill, that's a tight, twisty circuit, it's a completely different, so yeah. It's, it's going to be another tough weekend, but if we can keep chipping away and, uh, and getting top 15s, that, that, that's a good starting point for me, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what we want to be. Do you see yourself as a super right right now? That's where you see the future? It's hard because if you'd have told me this at the beginning of the year, I wouldn't have been interested because I didn't feel as though going super bikes was, was the right route for me, but now I've come onto a super bike, there's nothing better. I, I, I want to. Obviously, you'd like to be British champion, then and then go on to the world scene and obviously go and do what like Johnny Ray's and yeah, Cal Crutch guys have gone on to do. And every every boy's dreams to to go and be in my OGP at the end of the day. So, so maybe the kind of getting into no man's land out of super sport where you thought you were going to be front running and that deal didn't work, and then getting by default into superbike might have worked out really well career wise. I think. Yeah, who knows and. I hope it is. I really, really do. And I was, I was worried. Don't, don't get me wrong. I was worried to come up to superbikes because I know the the depth of field in the superbikes is massive, and uh, you're racing against. If you can win a BSB race, I feel as though you can win a world race. Good luck, fella. Cheers.